Today we'll learn in the Adrian Lenker song, Anything, a song that she famously wrote about what she would pay for Applebee's Bourbon Street Chicken and Shrimp Entree. And uh, it's a great song to learn just for fingerstyle, just to learn fingerstyle. Uh, it can be difficult if you don't break it down easily, so that's why I thought I'd make this lesson. First thing we have to do, we're going to turn to open D. So, we've got D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. So it is tuned down. Again, you can put the cape on the first fret or just tune it down a half step in open G because uh, it would be the same as if it's open D sharp. We're playing it in open D. But it's all about the finger style. I haven't found a good lesson on the internet of the finger style pattern. A great pattern that will help with the finger style playing. And it really, it, it's two parts that you have to break it down, otherwise it's gonna be super confusing. And we're just gonna do it open and then we're gonna add the chords later. And we're also gonna do the official way to do it and a much easier way to do it in case you wanna, in case this part, if that's too much of a reach, there's a, there's a workaround for it that we can do too. But first, finger style, all right? So, if we just do it on an open string set, it's gonna sound like this. So I'll do it super slow. Okay, so it's important to use the, the same fingers when you do it, otherwise you're just gonna be hunting and pecking all over the place. So a good way to do it is to anchor your arm on the body of the guitar, and then find a, a spot where it, wherever it is, you know, however long your arm is compared to the body of your guitar, where your hand can kind of just rest freely like this, right? So what we're gonna do, two parts. First part is gonna be like this. Okay, one and two and. Or if you just want to count it as four beats, one, two, three, four. So I've got my thumb on that first count. Then my pointer finger and my middle finger are going to grab the D string and the G string. And again, even though this is like an F sharp now, I'm still going to refer to it as the strings E, A, D, G, B, E. That seems to be less confusing for most people. One, and, two, and. E, D, G, a and B at the same time on the and of two or that four count, however you're counting it. One and two and. Just practice that. That's why it's like a really good finger style song to practice because again, the trick to learning finger style is to learn patterns and then you can put different, just different shapes all over and then you know you learn one pattern and then you have it forever all right so that's the first part of this pattern e d g a and b after that we're going to add the second part okay now this is the, the it always alternates it always goes part one part two part one part two i think it's easier to break it into two four part actions right so again this is the first one then after that we're going to go d e D, G. Now the way I'll play it most of the time is my thumb is gonna grab the D string, my middle finger or ring finger, whatever's easier for you, will jump up to the high E string, then go back to your thumb, and then pointer finger, G string, okay? So really easy if you practice this just by itself, All right? D, E, D, G, D, E, D, G. And then it's like, all right, well that's kinda easy, right? But it can be tricky once you add it to this. All right, so we have both of them together. E, D, G, A and B, D, E, D, G. One and two and three and four and. Make sure you can do this on the open string set before you even trying to tackle the chords. I promise you, you'll be way better at it if you do it that way, okay? In fact, just that first part, one and two and, there's a little bit of a dynamic that she plays. She's such a good player. I just saw her live the night before I'm shooting this video, which is what inspired this lesson because she's so good at it that there is a little bit of a dynamic on that and of two. One and two and three and four and one and two. So it almost sounds like, like that, but it really is one and two and three and four and. So again, that first chord that we're doing now is just a power chord on the seventh fret of the E string. And the ninth fret, you can play with your ring finger, your pinky, whatever is easier for you. But again, it's a seven E and nine A. There's the chord with the pattern now. OK, 
Okay, so in the song, it would happen two times in a row. And then we're gonna move to this shape. However you wanna play it. This is nine, 90 and 10 A. Again, you might hear it more like one and two and three and four and. That's how I used to play it before I saw her play it. But it's really one and two and three and four and. Where that thumb kind of comes into that D string. Again, to get the dynamics right is another uh, kind of story entirely, but it's great to just practice these back to back. So, super slow. And the next one, this is the, the tricky part, right? But like the best part. And then... Okay, so this is a reach, but it's 5E, 5A, and 9D, okay? Now, one thing you might notice is your pointer fingers here, I kind of have to jam it in and up to get that reach. Same pattern, one and two. Then you move this monster shape, two frets, one step higher. Okay? So we're gonna go through all of this and we're gonna do an easier way to replace this chord if this is just too much for you, but I definitely challenge you to try it because that'll really uh, get your reach in tip top shape in no time. It's another reason why maybe you wanna just tune down to open D, put a cape on the first fret because the frets get smaller as you go up the neck. So that's kind of an easier way to do it, right? So all together, super slow, we've got that first one, 7E, 9A. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and nine. One and two and three and four and fifth fret. Then two frets higher. And then you end up back on the seventh fret. Okay, so this is the entire pattern for the entire song, right? Now, before we go to the easier way to do it, let's, uh, let's just finish the song. All the verses are like that, right? The only thing that changes is for the chorus, we're gonna go move this same shape down to the ninth fret, right here where it's nine, nine, 12 with your pinky, and then open all the way up, and then it's the same thing, right? Like that, so again. E, B, G, A and B, D, E, D, G. Now we go a full step down, but go back to nine, nine, and 11. Then five, five, again, again. So again, nine, two times, seven, two times, five. It's hard to do it and talk at the same time, let alone sing. Then back to seven. And again, it, you'll, you'll find that like, if you just practice it like this, it, you'll be able to fly through once you actually, uh, you know, add the chord shapes and stuff, right? So. Again, like I said, I think the hardest part is this part right here. Especially because that G string, to get it open, sometimes you might hear that. That just means you gotta kind of power through. So uh, having your hands kind of attack the strings at the right angle is the important part. Uh, but uh, let's talk about how you can make this a little easier, right? So right now I've got five, five, and seven. Well, this note, on the G string would be the fifth fret. Same notes, right? So if you go five, five, and then just go open and five, G, this is essentially the same kind of sound. If we do that same pattern, and 
then move that two frets higher. I think that's a little easier than maybe doing this. Uh, but again, you know, that's just, just up to you. Again, I would challenge everyone to try this, but as someone who plays a lot outdoors when it gets cold, your hand is already cramping enough. So if I were to play this song at like the end of a set, I would probably go to, to these chords instead of these chords because it's a, it's a small difference that uh, can really kind of save you some wear and tear on your hands, all right? So let's go through it again, uh, super slow. Uh, just to go through the chord voicings. Remember, seven and nine, get that same pattern on that whole, the whole time. A, D, G, A and B, D, E, D, G. See, there's that one. Then the beast, two times each. Then a step up. And again, depending on what part of the song you are, this is the verse, right? Then the fifth fret. And then if you go right into the chorus, just think of going to the ninth fret. Then back it down. Fret, seventh fret, fifth fret, and then just kind of go back and forth between those two parts. So, you know, it can be a challenging song for sure if you've never played a finger style song like this, but again, doing it open Get that pattern, that muscle memory in your fingers is gonna be your best bet at doing it. And then again, the chords really aren't that difficult except for the reach that's involved. All right, verse, seventh fret power chord, ninth fret, interesting shape there. Open, open chord, shape du jour. Then that fifth fret, seventh fret. Then the descending line for the chorus, nine, seven, Five, five, and then just end it open. So thanks for checking it out. Uh, if you want to learn more finger style stuff, I have a class that I actually taught with a legit professor of classical music where he just kind of taught me how to play finger style because he's way more qualified than I am. So uh, check that out because it's super cheap. I will link you in the description there. Rocking out the D'Angelico uh, Tammany that they sent me. So I think it sounds pretty good, easy to play. If you have any questions or comments, hit them in the comment section, Instagram, Twitter, or the website. I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks a lot.